the meaning of this question is when you multiply two by itself hundred times the number you will get how many digits does that particular number contain what do i mean when you raise two to the power of hundred the number you will get is one point two six seven six five zero six and the number continues if you count the number of digits in this number you will count 31 digits now the question says that you should find the number of digits in this without a calculator so how do you go about it i'm going to show you the very easy way of doing that using this particular formula i want to introduce to you right now welcome to jj online math class and let's get straight to the point we have this particular uh, first of all let's let the number of digits let the number of digits of what a to the power of b be equal to d where where your a and your b are what they are positive integers your a and your b are positive integers now if this is the case now let's establish the formula okay now the formula states the formula states d is equal to the floor of b multiplied by log to base 10 of a okay plus one now this is what this is the formula very interesting right now let's get to it let's solve recall that what d is what we are looking for so the floor of what is our b recall this is the same thing as a to the power of b right so that means that our b is 100 so it's going to be 100 multiplied by what log to base 10 of a which is 2 all right plus 1 perfect now let's continue so our d is equal to the floor of 100 log to base 10 of 2 now um there are some logarithms that we're supposed to know without calculator without using a calculator for example log to base 10 of 2 is 30 10 0 0.3310 okay so there are some that we should try to have at the back of our mind all the time so log to base 10 of 2 is what 30 0 point what 0 0.3010 all right plus 1 so that means that our d is equal to the floor of now 100 times 0 0.3010 is actually easy we have two zeros here so we only shift we have to shift this decimal point into two places to the right all right so when we do that we notice that uh the new position of our decimal point will be here so we are going to have the floor of 30.1 plus one perfect you can see how easy it is now what is the floor of 30.1 it is what an integer that is what less than or equal to 30.1 that integer has to be less than or equal to 30.1 and the answer here is 30 so that is the integer so it's going to be 30 plus 1 you can see that we have gotten 31 digits isn't that amazing if this is the first time you're coming across this channel please do well to subscribe to the channel and on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video and i upload my videos two to three times daily so you can always tune in and see what's new okay thank you so much for watching and i love you